Hello all you beautiful gamers, collectors, and well just beautiful people in general. I am Totemlord and welcome to my channel. In this video here we'll actually conclude my 3 of 3 Shantae Limited Run series. For those of you that are just now tuning into this channel and missed the other two, I actually went through the other two Shantae games, uh, which were both the original for the Game Boy Color and then there's the original for the Switch which proved out to be uh, pretty similar, but um, pretty understandable too, because I, I feel like I was able to justify why they were similar, but they still had their own fair share of goodies. So what will Shantae Risky's revenge entail? And is it worth it? Ah, who are we kidding? We know it will be. <laughs> now, before we get started, I'd actually just like to say that Shantae Risky's revenge was actually my introduction to the series. Um, and to see it get a physical re release is pretty cool, or at least a physical release on a platform that I have, because I believe that they released it on the PS4, if I remember right. But I don't own a PS4, so it was unobtainable for me then, because I didn't want to drop, you know, a bunch of money on a system that I'd, you know, maybe play. However, uh, Shantae Risky's Revenge is a game that I bought on the DSi back in the day. Now, the DSi had its own... Uh, like eShop type thing going on, but a lot of the games felt like that there is very subpar in quality. But there were a few games that stuck out, and Shantae Risky's Revenge was one that um, that really shone through. Um, so, like, there are two reasons why it stuck out to me. One, it was actually priced a little bit more than the other games. The other ones were like, you know, five dollars, you know, six dollars. But Shantae, I believe, if, if I remember right, was like. 1200 um dsi points or whatever it was back in the day basically 12 dollars which that right away caught my interest but then uh looking at it it actually seemed like it was quite an interesting game and after after finally um you know debating it for a while i did actually bite the bullet and purchase it and it ended up being a really fun game and really well put together so to actually finally to be able to own it physically is truly a treat and before I start, I'd just like to say a quick shout out to WayForward and to Limited Run. These unboxings have been a blast, and I know that, that you guys will never ever watch my videos, but thank you so much. These are way cool. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So for Shantae's Risky's Revenge, this actually has quite a bit more going on than, than the last two uh, uh, covers did. The other two covers were very simple, which if you look at this, this is pretty simple because it's just Shantae sitting there. But the other two were just, um, a, you know, a picture of, you know, just Shantae and nothing in the background. This actually has her like in a building in Sequin Land, I imagine. And yeah, a bit more going on. Not like, you know, a lot, but definitely more. And the back, definitely a lot more going on. This feels like it's probably on the actual uh, game itself. And kind of like the original Shantae, which only had this stuff down here, uh, we also have a, you know, a description going on, like as if you were going to buy this in a store. You got some stills of some games, some descriptions. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Shantae Risky's Revenge Director's Cut is a powder keg of high-octane hair whip here would be hip shaking action. This enhanced classic features thousands of frames of animation and huge multi sprite huge multi sprite boxes. Guide half genie Shantae through burning deserts, enhanced enchanted forests, dripping caverns, and deadly labyrinths. Discover magical attacks, brew zombie coffee, save golden babies, huh? and master the art of belly dancing to transform Shantae into more powerful creatures. Now, that right there sounds like a game to me, but let's crack this sucker open, shall we, and see what it's got. A game's caliber. Right. And true to form like the other two, there is a nice little, uh, nice little chunk of plastic there to catch your blade onto to make this quite a bit easier to open up. I've had some unboxings where it's just like way too difficult because uh, it's just uh, sealed just a little too tight. So limited run nailed it just right. So now, just like Shantae for the Switch, this doesn't slip off like the Game Boy Color. It opens up from the top. So let's dive in. And 
I didn't show this off in the last one, but it's actually kind of multi-layered. This is how I was uh, getting through the other unboxing on the Switch, is I pulled out thing by thing, in which we're starting off with another poster. This is exciting. And like the previous two posters, this feels like it's of amazing quality. Okay, so... It is massive, just like the others. Let's get you out of the way. It is massive. We have a huge poster here. It is of the front cover. Very cool. I like it. And for those of you that like a little bit more, there's some fan service for you there. There's some Shante on the other side on the beach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice little touch there. the poster. Very cool. I'm a fan. I dig it. Alright, next. Alrighty. Kind of staying consistent here, which... Actually, let me show that off before I pull it out. Now, when I did the last one, the top part right there kind of slipped out. Uh, this is the CD, and that right there, I wasn't sure if it was a card or not, but now I can definitely confirm that it's got this little stand here. And just like in the last video, we got a little bit of more, a little, a little bit of more ASMR, so. All right, so. With the original saying just Shantae, this has Shantae Risky's Revenge. To make it a bit more distinct, we have Shantae sitting there all cute and cute-like, very nice. And like I said on the other one, this does not feel cheap. It, you know, you're not just gonna, you know, rub it and accidentally, um, you know, knock the, um, knock the picture off. So that is pretty cool. Now the CD. Work with me here, CD. Same cover, staying consistent. I like it. Track list. Let's see if I can be a little more successful on this than I was on the Game Boy Color one. But like I said, I have many years of opening CD practice under my belt, so it shouldn't be a problem. After all, child of the 90s, really. Alrighty, let's see what the CD looks like inside. Ooh, we got, uh, we got Risky right there. Just getting my way. We have Shantae looking like a diva there. Let me see if I can fix that just a titch. Actually, oh, the back even has the same picture as the CD. <laughs> kind of cool. So we have Risky Boots and we have Shantae there on the picture. And just like the last one, yep, there's not a booklet there, um, which if you do know your CDs, this, you know, there'd be like a book booklet in there and stuff. It, this is just a straight page, front and back, that's it. Alright, up next, what do we have here? That was the rest of it, all in one clean little go. Alright, so, okay. This is cool. It is, you could literally display this stuff, um, and it would look pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, which, I will not be doing that. Uh, I actually, um, I like to open my games and play them. We have the actual game here. I imagine this is what the standard edition looks like. Awesome. We have also something I'm becoming a huge fan of, Steelbook, which I wish I knew what the name of that is whenever you put the, the picture, kind of more of a background thing, but Shantae Risky's Revenge, this Steelbook, what does the inside look like? We'll have a look, my friend. Just like the Switch one, it is uh, very simple with the pattern inside. Um, but yeah, at least it's not a blink nothing. Love it. I like the simplicity of it, really. Alright. Uh, Alright. So, just like the other one. Shantae coin. This one says, Risky's Revenge, in opposed to the original, which I still have right here, uh, which is just Shantae 
on the back. We have Shantae doing the, uh, let's see if I can get a good clear shot of it. Shantae kind of doing the, the Sonic the Hedgehog pose, or at least that's what it is to me, because I think of the original Sonic the Hedgehog, so. Which, she doesn't have the 90s attitude with it, but she's got the, the, the millennial sass, so. Okay, maybe not sass, but you know. All right, we have a picture of Shantae Dan, or a pin of Shantae dancing there. Very awesome. And last, let's have a look and see what's inside the game. Now, if you saw the last, the last one on the Shantae, the original Shantae for the Switch, the booklet was in the style of a Game Boy Color, which I thought was really cool and kind of clever. Um, because like I said in the last video, I feel like the sh uh, Shantae on the Switch was appealing to retro modern gamers, while the Game Boy Color was uh, appealing to retro gamers. So um, I thought that was kind of a really cool way to bring them together. So what does the inside look like? It's got a standard booklet. It's got the Shantae fan service there going on in case you didn't get the poster. Like I said, this is probably the standard edition. The manual is in the Switch style. I love this. Got the, we're consistent with the uh, with the cover there. We have the story, which is nice because you didn't really get it in the DSi version. I mean, you got a gist of what was happening. We have character bios of Shantae and Risky Boots. We have other characters. We have Sky and Wrench. We have Roddy Tops. We have Bolo, Poe. What's your name? Abner. The zombies. Ooh, we have a picture of the Barons, Squid Baron, we got Ammo Baron, and Hypno Baron. We got some enemies there, some really cool, uh, you know, little sprite portraits there. This book isn't too long, usually I don't go over these in my videos. We have a rundown of original mode versus magic mode. If I remember right, magic mode, you gotta, get, you gotta be a bit more crazy with your abilities and spells, but I think you take more damage. We have notes with uh, fan service Shantae there. So yeah, that's the manual. Not too much to it, but I mean, like enough to really keep you satisfied, so. Whew, well, that was it for the uh, Shantae Risky's Revenge limited run. Some really cool goodies here. Of course, we got the standard edition with the manual, which I absolutely adore. We got a neat pin of uh, Shantae dancing. We got a Shantae coin, which I'm a, <laughs> I love that. I don't know why I'm a fan of coins. Um, a steel book, which I will love and treasure. Um, loving my Shantae steel books. Uh, actually, any steel book I get. So, um, the big, huge poster, very awesome. So, uh, like I said before, limited run, uh, way forward. What a perfect, um, you know, what a perfect marriage of uh, video game amazingness. So, lots of great stuff here in this trilogy. This, this, these three videos have just been an absolute joy to go through. So. And I hope that, that you guys have enjoyed it too. So, because yeah, great stuff here. If you have a chance to get it, or you have, or if you, if you're waiting on your uh, on your stuff, absolutely worth the wait in my opinion. So, <sighs> anyway, I just like to say thank you for stopping in my channel. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and I will judge you next time.